welcome to ISTV English News. This is Nandita Lashram giving you the news. First, the headlines. VDF launch sees work strike demanding increase in monthly salary to launch general strike from 7 February. And now the news in details. Members of Village Defence Force today launched cease work strike demanding increase in monthly salary. On 29 January, the VDF Welfare Association had stated their demands to the state government. However, seeing no positive response from the government side, the employees of VDF at Thawbal Ningombam and Thawbal Atopam outposts today surrendered their arms as an act of protest. The VDF employees are demanding increase in their monthly salary. VDF had been instituted by the government of Manipur for counter-insurgency purpose. The decision to launch cease work strike was taken during a joint meeting of VDF on Saturday. While appealing to the public for supporting the cause of the aggrieved VDF members, they are also demanding discontinuing the utilization of VDFs by the higher police officers for their own personal works, removal of VDF members from service without any valid reason and stopping sly appointment of VDF by the state government. Members of VDF have also threatened to launch indefinite straight work statewide ban from February 7 in case the government does not give any positive response even after launching the cease work strike. I go in a another year on a car now I go to hunt of attack that I'm being a pussy I go in a car now I do pain the buggy call on my arm a pun but pull up for the key down Marie the gay okay cool I thought over the deal up there but she does I can't like I'm about time to pull him on that Mayorpai base of four locality of Kurai Tinsid Road today staged road blockade in protest against the suspicious death of one Oinam Goroba, alias Ajit of Kongpal Chingambam Lekai. His state body was found at Kurai Sajor Lekai, Awang Lokon. General public have been greatly affected by the blockade. He has been missing from December 12th and his corpse was found in February 1st. Speaking in connection with the road blockade convener of JC against the killing of Oinam Goroba, TH Anita said, Police investigation into the suspicious death is not satisfied and said that hesitation will continue further. Tomorrow, a sudden protest will also be staged at Lamlong Market. AISF, Manipur State Council, has given a rousing reception for Child Bravery Awardees for 2013 in the recently concluded Republic Day. AISF President Nongthombam Sanahal, AIYF President Kumari Punimashi were also present in the reception ceremony held at Irabad Bhavan in Imphal. Simple gift items were also given to him as a mark of respect and encouragement. Korongwanba Kuman, aged 7, son of Babuchan of Moirang Kuman, Lekai, presently residing at Mairambam Lakoipung, was honored by the President of India with a certificate and a cash award of rupees 20,000 in recognition to his bravery and courage to save her minor sister from the ravaging fire on July 11, 2011. He was one among the 22 children decorated with Bravery Award this year. Since its inception in 1957 till this year, 602 boys and 244 girls were conferred with the prestigious award. Korongamba, a student of class 4 in New Model Public School, speaking to media persons said that while her sister remained in a corner of the room, Perplexy remembered how a fire was put off by Tom and Jerry in TV and instantly he applied the formula using a thick blanket and saved his sister. He also expressed his desire to become an army officer. <laughs> Mai 
Entrepreneurship program of PMEGP beneficiaries which begins from 21st January concludes today at ICM Infall. The program was organized by ICM Infall under the sponsorship of Khadi and Village Industries Commission Mumbai. ICM Director K.H. Somrendro, Chairperson of NCUI Project Coordination Committee Gina Potsambam and S. Harajit were also present as president members. As a part of the occasion, certificates were also distributed to the beneficiaries. Director ICM CMKH Samarendra said the benefits of the schemes given by the government of India should be judiciously used in the unemployment ridden state of Manipur. Gina Potsambam appealed the beneficiaries to be effectively used a monetary sanction under PMEGP. She also urged to inculcate the habit of repaying the bank loans. This habit will bring more success in the future. The program will be able to give many benefits to the educated unemployed youths of the state. Just think they are poorer than you. They are poorer than you. They don't have money. So they are, at the, on the other side of the coin, they are beggars. They are baggage. So when somebody back, you should not deny giving them. So my request is, once you get selected, you have gone all the hardship are gone, and the training is done here. The training has been conducted for 10 days. We have the hardship coming from Chuchampur till here. Every day coming, going up and down, spending all your time, wasting all your energies just to get a few bucks after this training program. World Cancer Day is being observed today to raise awareness of the illness and to promote prevention measures, early detection and treatment of cancer. This year's team, Cancer Did You Know? envisages to dispel the damaging myths and misconceptions about the disease. Cancer is the leading cause of death worldwide, accounting for 7.6 million deaths annually and around 13% of all deaths. Lungs, stomach, liver, colon and breast cancer cause the most cancer deaths each year. About 30% of cancer deaths are due to the five leading behavioral and dietary risks, high body marks index, low fruit, low vegetable intake, lack of physical activity, tobacco tobacco use and alcohol use. Tobacco use is considered the most important risk factor for cancer causing 22% of global cancer deaths and 71% of the global lung cancer deaths. A Delhi court today framed charges against the former Commonwealth Games Organizing Committee Chief Suresh Kalmadi and others nine for forgery, cheating and conspiracy in a corruption case related to the 2010 Delhi Games. The 10 accused were present in the Special Central Bureau of Investigation. Court when Judge Ranveer Kaur framed the charges. The court had earlier passed the order for framing the charges for illegally awarding the rupees 141 crore contract to Swiss firm Switch Timing on Omega that caused a loss of over rupees 90 crore to the executor. Kalmadi was arrested in case April 26, 2011. The CBI in its first charge sheet described Kalmadi, who is a Lok Sabha member, as prime accused and a mastermind in the corruption case related to financial irregularities in awarding the contract. Social networking website Facebook turns 9 year old today. Facebook was started on February 4, 2004 in a dorm of Harvard University by Mark Zuckerberg with the help of his four friends. The world's biggest social media site was called Facebook.com in its initial days and was later renamed to just Facebook. Facebook, which began as Zuckerberg's hobby project, was initially a college network. Facebook's expansion to other colleges and universities started in March 2004. Within months, the social network became a huge success. In terms of user count, US, Brazil, India, Indonesia and Mexico are the countries with maximum numbers of Facebooks. It enjoys a huge lead over rival social networks like Google, Twitter and LinkedIn. But before we close the headlines once again, VDF launched sees work strike demanding increase in monthly salary to launch general strike from 7 February. With this, we end this news. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. Thank you.